Well, for this segment of WeatherWise, I wanted to show you how to make some weather instruments at home. All you need are a few household items, so here's how to set up an anemometer and a wind vane. For the wind vane, we'll need two plates, some rocks, clay, a pencil, a pushpin, an index card, and a straw. First, we need to add rocks to the bottom plate and then tape the other plate on top. This creates a sturdy base. You can also poke a hole in the middle of the top plate. Once you have that, push the pencil eraser side up into the plate and then secure it with clay. You can also cut that index card into two pieces at this point. Then cut slits into the ends of the straw, insert the index card, and staple into place. Once you have that done, slide a push pin through the middle of the straw and then into the top of the eraser. Label directions on the top plate and now you have a wind vane to tell the wind direction. For the anemometer, you'll need two plates, rocks, a pencil, a push pin, a plus piece of cardboard, and some tiny cups. Just like the wind vane, we'll start by filling the plates with some rocks and then taping them together after poking a hole in the top plate. Slide your pencil into the hole, eraser side up, and apply clay to keep it sturdy. With a plus-shaped piece of cardboard, staple the tiny cups on the ends, and then you want to make sure that you at least have one cup a different color. That's going to help on a little bit later. Now, use the push pin in the center of that cup and cardboard combo and stick that into the pencil eraser. It should spin freely, and if you count how many times that colored cup passes, it helps to figure out the actual wind speed. So there you go, and I have to give a shout out to my weather intern Stevie Danielzik for helping put these together. Next week, I'll show you how to make a thermometer and a barometer.